Greetings to the country of England and the UK. As they say, how are you doing? From California, USA. I come to you in the name of the Lord with a message. Repent and be baptized for the kingdom of heaven is near. I know a lot of uh, you from the UK and London familiar with California. We get a lot of guests from UK here. Here are our cousins across the pond. I know that. I've been there before as well. I've been there. You've been here, a lot of you. We're friends and cousins, whatever you want to call us. But some of you are not Christians. That makes me sad. Because I want you to be saved before it's too late. Before you die. So I'm here to invite you to become a Christian today and be baptized in the Spirit. Are you ready to become a Christian? Are you ready to humble yourself before God? And say sorry for your sins? I hope so. I truly hope so. We're all sinners. We all need Jesus. We all need to repent, begin our journey, and even after you become a Christian, you'll still sin, but hopefully you will sin less. I've been a Christian a long time, I still sin, but I, I hope I am sinning less, I think I am, not to say I'm perfect, and perfect by the way in Greek means comes from the word teleo, it means to be complete, not to be sinless. But the less sins we uh, commit, the more complete we will be. So there's some some association with that. Anyways, if you're ready to uh, humble yourself and tell Jesus that he's your king and the Lord of your life forever, and you want to say sorry for your sins and thank you, thank him for dying on the cross to save us. Then I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And by virtue of your faith, you are now a Christian. Congratulations. Welcome to the body of Christ, the family of God. It's your faith that makes you a Christian. It's your faith that keeps you Christian. The baptism is a symbol and a seal. It's your faith that makes is what's the most important. To keep the faith and keep growing in faith. Growing in Christ. And you can now be sure of where you'll go when you die. It's called heaven. Eternal paradise of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That's our God, one God. Three persons, the Trinity God. And also in heaven you'll be there with the angels and the saints. And all the fellow brothers and sisters in Christ and even your own family members will be there with you. If they're Christian when they die. So if they're not yet Christian and haven't died, now is the time to invite them to become Christian and be saved before it's too late. And you can baptize them well in water or spirit or both you don't need special training to baptize just do like I'm doing right now you can do it over the airwaves or you can do it in person however you wish God is the one doing the work we're just messengers so congratulations now that you're a Christian, there's four things you should try to do as soon as possible. One, you should start talking to God. Call that prayer. Two, you should start reading the Word of God. We call that the Bible. Not to be confused with the Quran. Muslims read the Quran. Christians read the Bible. We believe the Bible is the only true Word of God. And God is the only true God our God, Christian God, our Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 
And then three, you should tell others about God and Jesus Christ and invite them to become Christians. Explain to them how it all works as best as you know and understand. You can say exactly what I'm saying or you can use your own words and you'll grow and learn more and try to you can expand on it however you wish. Whatever comes uh, natural and most comfortable to you. It's not a formula, but it is. there are some things that should be included, such as confession of sins, baptism, things like that. Commitment, acceptance, apology, gratefulness. There should be a heartfelt emotion attached to this conversion. It's not just a head thing. But, you know, sometimes in some cases, for those that who are really kind of intellectuals, it, it takes time for that the heart to catch up to the head. Or vice versa, the head to catch up to the heart. So, now that you're a Christian, there's four things you should do as soon as possible. First, you should start talking to God. We call that prayer. Second, you should start reading the Word of God. That's the Bible. Now, I'm repeating myself now. I'm starting to babble. I said that already, didn't I? I'm sorry. Forgive me, please. It's been a long day on the road. I've been doing a lot of uh, baptisms. Hopefully some seeds are finding good soil. A third, you got to tell others about Jesus. We said that already too, didn't I? That's the convert, that's the being an evangelist. And then fourth, I didn't say this yet, you need to find a good church with traditional values. And uh, if that's not available where you are in the UK, I hope he can find other traditional value Christians with whom he can fellowship on a regular basis. Read the Bible together, pray together, stay together, you know, socialize. That should be your small Christian family. And then all the other Christians around the world, that's your big Christian family. You need both, big and the small. The eye needs the legs. Legs need the eye, big need small. All parts of the body need to be healthy to function together. Keep that in mind. And then uh, I'll add a little more for you to read in the box below. And if you have any questions or for a free Bible, please message me on YouTube. I'll happily try to help you as best as I can. And I'll be praying for you and ask other Christians to join me in prayer for the new Christians in the UK. Lord, we pray for all the new Christians in the UK. Be with them, guide them, lead them. Show them the way. Fill them up with your Holy Spirit, with all the fruit, the love, the joy, the peace, the patience, kindness. Everything they need to continue faithfully in you, to follow you, to worship you, to praise you, to love you with all their heart, mind, strength, and soul. And also the courage to tell others about you, to tell the gospel, the good news of you. Jesus Christ, our Savior, everywhere they go. Pray this in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.